Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with my November 2022 TBR. Say it with me everybody, it's TBR time! Yay! <laughs> so, looking forward to this one. I actually, just this morning, cut this list almost in half. I had way too many books on here. I had the same amount of books that I had for the month of October. And for the October books, I have barely put a dent in the amount of books that I had on my list. So I'm like, let's be a bit more realistic, Sarah. Let's cut that list down. And here we are. So I think I have about 30-ish books here, but I'm not going to talk about... So I'm not going to get too much into what all of them are about, but I will leave the full list below if you guys want to go ahead and um, check them out for yourself. So because it's November, I am super excited because Christmas is coming and I love reading Christmas books. So in the month of November is kind of when I do my half and half. So half of the books that I have on my, my list are holiday themed and the rest are non-holiday themed. So it's kind of a great mix. And then in December, it will be nothing but holiday books, which I cannot wait for. So um, let's get into it shall we? We have two books physically, which is great. The rest of them, um, again, even in October, I listened to a little bit of audio, but not really. So most everything I'm going to be reading is probably going to be digital if or physical if I can pick it up from the library or something. So my throwback books, I always pick five of them every month. There's a Babysitter's Club, a Nancy Drew Mystery Stories, a Nancy Drew Case Files, a Sweet Valley High, and a Sweet Valley Twins book. I'm not going to share with you the books yet, because I'm still working on some of the ones from October. And if I don't finish one of the books, I will push it over to the next month because I'm reading these books in order. So like if, for example, I don't get to the Sweet Valley High book, then I will push it over and read it in November or that's my goal. So I don't really want to share with those with you because that is subject to change. But we will get into what I call the other books or my, my, my rant, what, what should I call this? My mood read part. So essentially these are just 12 books that I would really like to get to in the month of November. They're just books that look good or sound good to me. So the first six, one, two, three, four, five, the first six, I can count, are non-holiday themed. The other six, I went on my NetGalley list that I have, and I looked for holiday books that were published last year in December of 2021, or in 2021, holiday books published in 2021. And I'm going to try my best to read them this month. So a little behind, a year old, but still, you know. So the first book that I have is Get Away With Murder by Diane Kelly. This is book number one in the Mountain Lodge mystery series. This is a cozy mystery series. I've heard a lot of people say good things about this one. It looks super cute. I have like three of these books are cozies, like in my, so clearly I'm in the mood to read some, a lot of books, like not more than three, but from this mood read list, three of the books are cozies. The next one I have is Potions and Pastries by Bailey Cates, which is the seventh book in the Magical Bakery Mystery Series. I haven't read one of these books in a couple of years, and I really, really enjoy this series, and I need to get back to it again, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up book number seven in the month of November. Then we have Murder Low Main by Vivian Chen. This is book three in the Noodle Shop mystery series, another cozy mystery series that I really, really like that I'm working my way through that I need to read the next one for. Now, the next three are just books that really jumped out at me. So the first one is one I've been looking at a lot at Walmart. I have this on hold from the library, but it's like a 12 week wait. I might get lucky and the ebook might come in earlier. If push comes to shove, I'm just going to buy it for the Kindle. It's like $10. Um, and I don't mind spending that money because with, a, with this long wait. So anyway, this is The White Hair by Jane Johnson. I don't have what this, like, I did read the back of this book when I was in Walmart and went, oh my gosh, I really want to read this. And I ended up taking a picture of it with my phone, like the cover of it. And then when I got home, I knew enough to go and look it up at the library. And it's essentially a historical fiction novel. That's really what I can remember. I think there might be some magical elements in it, but it sounds really, really good, you guys. And I just feel like it's something that I'm in the mood for. Um, next up is a book that has been sitting on my shelf since it was published. I bought this when it was released and I still haven't read it yet. And I'm so annoyed at myself because I'm a big fan of these authors, but I don't know what, what I'm hesitating on. I think because these books get so many mixed reviews now, um, everybody loved The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, like everybody. But then all the next books that were published by them, they got like, eh, it was, they were okay. So I think that's part of why I'm hesitating on this one, but I've got something wilder by Christina Lauren. And I really want to read this one. It's about like a, a woman who's, um, her father was a treasure hunter. 
uh, notorious treasure hunter and, um, I guess, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I have to reread the back again. A charming laugh out loud novel filled with adventure, treasure, and of course, love. I mean, again, I don't dislike Christina Lauren's books. Every one of their books that I read, I'm very happy with. Like, I, I love The Unhoneymooners. I didn't particularly love, um, what was that other one called? The one about the, um, the home repair. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. I liked the Christmas one that they did. Um, you know, some of their older ones I really, really enjoyed, like Roomies was fantastic. Their older stuff, like the, um, the, the Bastard series, those were not my cup of tea. I haven't, I don't think they would be my cup of tea because they were, um, much spicier novels than what I choose to read. And there are two types of people who read Christina Lauren's books. So for those of you who don't know, Christina Lauren is a duo of authors. And, um, so anyone, um, who started with that, that series and then go into these books are like, oh, well, I don't like these at all. These are very tame. Whereas if you start with these ones and then you go to that series, it's like, oh yeah, no, these are a little too spicy for me. Whereas a lot of these books are behind closed doors. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I love this, this cover. I think it's gorgeous. So I am looking forward to getting to it. Like I said, treasure hunter, um, uh, when the trip goes horribly, horribly and hilariously wrong, there's a chance to fix the mistakes of the past and find the legendary treasure that might not have been a gimmick after all. So yeah, I, I just, one just sounds really great and I think I'm going to enjoy it. And then the last book I have for these first six is one that I actually saw on Instagram and somebody that I follow on Instagram, she posts a lot of independently published books, which I really, really like. Um... And this one came up that it was a new release and I went over to Amazon and it was like under $3. So I hit buy now and I, I bought it because this is right up my alley. And I have no idea what it's about, but it's called A Highlander for Hannah by Mary Warren. This is the first book in the Mystic Falls series. There's a Highlander on the cover. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. And it's an indie published book to my understanding. So I am really, really looking forward to this one. Um, a Highlander romance just sounds perfect for me. So the next six books in my kind of mood reading uh, section here are all holiday themed books. And these are all books that came out last year in 2021. So there are a number of um, Harlequin books on here, category romance books on here. So we have For This Christmas Only by Caro Carson. This is, I believe, a special edition novel. And it's book number three in the Masterson, Texas series. Again, I don't know a lot what these are about, but I am looking forward to reading it. Then we have A Secret Christmas Wish by Kathy McDavid, which is a heartwarming book. And the third book in the Wishing Wells Springs series. Looking forward to this one. Then we have One Christmas Wish by Brenda Jackson. Brenda Jackson is fantastic. I love her work. This is not a category romance, um, but it's a, it's a series that she's writing. The Catalina Cove series. This is book five. I haven't read any of the other books in this series, but I have the fifth book. It's a Christmas book. As I always say with contemporary romance novels or just romance novels in general, even if they're part of a series, you can still read them as standalones, in my opinion, most of the time, because you're following a different couple every book. So it's not like you need it. You might get a glimpse of, oh, this couple or that couple. You know, you might meet up with them in this book, but it's not it's not like it's a big spoiler because as I always like to say, the couple that is mentioned, the two people that are mentioned on the first page or in that first chapter of that book are the same two people that end up together at the end if the romance novel was done correctly. <laughs> so it's not a huge spoiler in my opinion, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. And then we have A Cowboy Christmas Legend by Linda Brody. This is the second book in the Lone Star Legend series. This is a American West historical romance, which I love, like a, a historical cowboy romance. I love these so much. Linda Brody does these fantastically. Can't wait. Then we have If Every Day Was Christmas by Donna Ashcroft, which is a chiclet novel um, set in the UK and it looks super cute. Great Christmassy cover. Looking forward to it. And then <laughs> I could not put this one on the list. Close Range Christmas by the great Nicole Helm. This is an intrigue novel, I believe. This is book number six in the Badlands Cop series. Now, I just earlier this year read book number one. So I'm jumping way ahead in the series, but it's fine. Again, as I just discussed, you can read these out of order. But the cover on this one is, and I'm not, this is nothing against the book because I haven't even read the book yet, but it's, it's a little trashy. <laughs> Again, 
Okay, for those of you who watched back when I did Garb August, back in August, there was the book that the Appalachian book um, by, I can't remember the author's name, but it was a pregnant woman carrying a gun. And I know Ollie over at Criminality was like, okay, that's the trashiest cover. And he bought it and he loved the book. But this cover reminds me very much of that cover. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same woman. I have to wonder, but it does. It's whatever. I want to read this one. Nicole Helm is a fantastic author and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. So <clears throat> those are my mood read books for the month of November. Then we have uh, two little sections here. The first one is the Killing Time with Cozies scavenger hunt book. So Killing Time with Cozies is a discord group over on discord and <laughs> it's a group over on discord. And I'm on there like every day, we're all chatting with each other. And every month they do two um, like spin the wheel picks. They're it's called scavenger hunt. So then twice, well, every Saturday, um, there is a live show over on Tiffany at the Beach Bum Bookworms channel. And two of those weeks, we talk about what books we picked for the scavenger hunt. Now they've opened it up that it doesn't just have to be cozy mysteries. You could read romance or another genre if you so desired to but almost everybody reads cozy. So I did pick cozies for this because I do like cozy mysteries. So the first um, prompt for the month of November was specialty shop cozy. And I think a lot of us are reading this book as well because it's very new released. And I think there's a buddy read going on for it as well in the month of November. And that is Death by Bubble Tea by Jennifer J. Chow. This is the first book in the LA Night Market series. Very cool cover. I love, love, love the cover of this book. And the specialty shop is like a bubble tea shop. So it's not like when we say specialty shop, it's like a shop that specializes in something. So, you know, it could even be like if you read the Hannah Swenson series by Joanne Fluke, it could be the cookie jar like Hannah's shop because it specializes in cookies. So you could use that for sure. But for me, this is the one that I picked. And then the second prompt was a book you haven't read in a while or a series you haven't read in a while. And I thought that this was the perfect uh, reason to to go ahead and continue on with my reading of the Cat Who Mystery series. And I'll be reading The Cat Who Played Post Office by Lillian Jackson Braun, book six in the Cat Who series. This is an older series. It has long since been finished. It's been finished for, I want to say, close to 20 years, maybe. Um, the book started in the 1950s or 60s, and she wrote a handful of them, and then she took a long break and then picked back up the series again. And it's a really fun, cozy mystery series about a man and his two cats, his two Siamese cats who solve mysteries. I really, really like them. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to this one very, very much. And then the next section of three books that I have here are buddy reads. So like I said, Death, at Bubble, uh, Death by Bubble Tea is a buddy read as well, but the rest of these are going to be buddy reads. So for this channel right here, there was a discussion because every month, um, if you are a member of Kindle or if you're a member of Prime, I think if you have Amazon Prime, they release like six books that you can purchase a month early, like you can purchase for free a month early. So this month you actually got two picks in October, which was kind of cool. And a bunch of us were talking on my Discord group about which books we had picked. And almost everybody picked this book. And I jokingly said, hey, buddy, read in November. And everybody's like, yes, yeah, sounds great. So I have never read this author before, but I've heard good things. This is supposed to be like spookier, I think. And this is The Stroke of Winter by Wendy Webb. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So if anyone wants to join in the buddy read, it will be hosted here. Well, it will be hosted on my Discord. So I will leave a link to my Discord below. And also to, um, I will open up a thread when this video goes up so you can let us know if you're going to be joining. Um, the next buddy read for the channel is going to be uh, Runaways by V.C. Andrews because um, I know I, I know for sure it's me and Jessica. So it might just be a buddy read between me and Jessica, but that's fine. In the month of October, we read the first four books. Do I have any of them here in front of me? No, I do not. But they were much shorter books about these four girls, Butterfly, Crystal, Brooke, and Raven. And then this book has all four of them together. It's, you know, kind of the... It's not a bind up of those four books. This is a completely separate novel with the four girls together um, living kind of at this uh, foster home that may not be the safest place to be. So there is the inside step back. And yeah, I am looking forward to this. Um, I've been, well, I haven't absolutely been loving the four books, but they've been entertaining. You know, like they're not Pulitzer Prize winning novels. <laughs> But they're highly entertaining and these are a throwback for me because I read all of these in high school or in college or whatever. So 
yeah, I am looking forward to getting back to this one again. So that's another buddy read on the channel. And then last but not least, a buddy read I'm participating in on somebody else's group is A Dome Full of Sugar by Catherine Burns. This is the first book in the Maple Syrup Mystery Series. Perfect book for the month of November. It just has that very fall feeling to it. And it's maple syrup. I think it takes place in Vermont. So yeah, I am very, very excited about that one. And last but not least, the last 11 books I'm going to show you, yes, 11 books I'm going to share with you, are my picks for the Harlequin new releases. So every single one of these books is being released this month in the, or is being released in the month of November. So you will be able to pick them up at your big box store or at uh, Amazon or wherever you want to purchase a book from. Um, so I'm very excited about all of these and I am looking forward to reading them all. And a couple of these, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the 11 are holiday themed. And the first one I'm not absolutely certain about. So the first book is Snowed in Secrets by Jules Bennett. This is the desire novel. It is book three in the Angels Share series. I don't know if it's holiday themed. It might just be like winter because it's snowed in. But oftentimes, as I've discussed before on this channel, if you see snow on the cover of a book, nine times out of 10, sadly, it takes place at Christmas. And I say sadly because I would like to see more books that just take place in winter doesn't have to be the holidays. Like it seems like Christmas ends and all of a sudden it's 80 degrees and all the books take place in the spring and summer. I want to see more from that transition period, you know, in January, February, March, like, you know, for those of us in areas that get four seasons, do you know what I mean? So anyway, that's just my little rant on that. The next book is The Sergeant's Christmas Gift by Shelley Shepard Gray. This is the, um, heartwarming novel, clearly a Christmas book, looks delightful. Then we have, I'm really looking forward to this one, The Captain's Christmas Homecoming by Laurie Robinson. Um, this is a Harlequin historical, I think it's World War II, and about a soldier who comes home for the holidays, and it's Laurie Robinson. You guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of Laurie Robinson, so I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Um, then we have Wyoming Winter Rescue by Juno Rushdan. This is the first book in the Cowboy State Lawman series, and this is the intrigue novel. I love the cover on this one. I think it looks spectacular. Um, again, winter. I don't think it's Christmas, um, but again, it could just be taking place in the wintertime. Not sure. Uh, next up, we have Festive Fling to Forever by Karen Bain. This is book number two in the Carrie Cove Midwives series. And this is the medical romance. And it looks super, super cute. Again, I'm loving that cover. It looks so delightful. Really looking forward to this one. Um, speaking of covers I love, Unwrapping His New York Innocent by Heidi Rice. This is book number one in the Billion Dollar Christmas Confession series. Even before I put the cover up here, just saying that title... And that um, series name, I'm sure all of you who read Harlequin knew very well that this was a Presents novel. <laughs> but yeah, the cover on this one looks spectacular. Cannot wait to read it. Then we have Crowning His Secret Princess by Kate Hardy. This is a Harlequin romance novel. I love the cover on this one too. I love her pretty dress and oh, this one just looks spectacular. Then we have a book that I've talked about before that I got from NetGalley. And I am really looking forward to reading this one. It's called Six Days to Live by Lisa Dodson. This is a Harlequin romantic suspense novel about a man who ingests poison, whether it be, ac I think it was accidentally, it must be accidentally, but there's an antidote. And if they don't get the antidote, he dies in six days. So dun, 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 that's how what's going to happen in it. I'm looking forward to that one very, very much. Um, then we have Thankful for the Maverick by Rochelle Allers. This is a Harlequin special edition novel. I showed this one last week in my Cozy Reads video that I did for Harlequin, and this is one of the books that they sent to me. I don't have it physically here beside me. It's up over here on the shelf, but I will be reading it physically, and yeah, I am looking forward to this one. Rochelle Allers, she can do no wrong. She's a fantastic author. This is the fifth book in the Montana Mavericks Brothers and Broncos series. And then we have The Mistletoe Favor by Jill Kemner. This is book number four in the Wyoming Rancher series. I love the cover on this one as well. This is a love-inspired, faith-based romance. Looking forward to it. And last but not least, the final book for the month of November is Explosive Christmas Showdown by Darlene L. Turner. This is a romantic suspense, a love-inspired suspense novel. So a faith-based romantic suspense and I am looking forward to it and it's another Christmas book so yay but anyway guys that is it that is all that I have for this video today 
let me know in the comments below. Have you read any of the books that I've talked about? Um, are you joining in on any of the buddy reads? What books are you looking forward to reading in the month of November? Tell me all the things. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.